Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Hey, how are you guys? Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Oswaldo Hernandez, Nevi, Susana del Carmen, Oswaldo Morales, Camila. Who else we have? Elsie del Carmen, welcome. Jonathan Adonai, Jaime, eh, Jaime Alfredo, Gabriel Abigail, Carla Zaraí. We have Clara Judith. Welcome, guys. Welcome. It's good to see you one more night. Prepare to continue. Prepare to go on with this process. Yes, always. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Rest the day. Remember that we were with the yes, no questions we'd be going to. But also we saw about the WH questions to investigate something very specific. Now we have a video about that with the WH questions using the be going to. And then we have a conversation. So let's watch it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. All right, let's see. We watched that video. We just listened to it to prove. Let's see what you understood from that. Let's see what a good memory we have. Pusimos ese video ahorita. Después vamos a probar eh, qué tanta comprensión tuvimos para ver eh, cuánto memorizamos. Yes, so let's check that. But first, we are going to study this. We have another video with this form. So let's pay attention to it. That's with the WH questions. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler. Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. 
Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Lagunas. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get and finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end there now is your turn to practice making wh questions with be going to i would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country after you complete this activity share your work in our discussion forums All right, so as you could watch there on the video, we saw the structure of the simple future, but in this time about the WH words. Let's select them here. We're going to read them. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Lagunas. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. Now you are going to read them. Oswaldo Hernandez. The first question, please. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Debbie, continue. Answer. Um, oh, I'm going to go to the, a dance. To a dance. To a That's dance. Very good. Thank you. Susana del Carmen, the negative. Um, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. That's great. Thank you, Clara. You did the question. Where are you going to go? Right, thank you. Karina Canales. We're going, we're, to, go, we're going to go Lagunas. To Lagunas. To Lagunas. That's right, thank you. Continue. Camila, please. Negative. We're not. We're not going to stay home. That's right, thank you. 
Elmer, the next question. How are you going to get the chair? Right, thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca Vanessa. We're going to drive. Right, thank you. Lesbia. We're not. We're not going to take a, a bus. A bus, very good. Rodrigo Beltran, the question. Who's going to be there? Excellent, nice. Denise, affirmative. My friends are going to be there. Very good job. Thank you. Oswaldo Morales, negative. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm at working too, but I'm listening. Oh, okay. Very good. Can you participate? Uh, no, I can't participate right now. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, to you. Thank you. Kathy is there. Yes, teacher. My sister isn't going to be there. There. Very good job. Nice. Okay. Remember that this one is the formal manner, but it's also possible to make the informal manner to speak faster and more popular way or informal manner. So we're going to repeat like this. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Lagunas. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. To make it short and informal, but very common manner to speak it. So let's continue in that way. Ana Xiomara, can you read the first one, please? But use gonna. Remember with gonna, eliminate two. What? What are you going to gonna? do? Gonna. For... Try to use gonna. Gonna, gonna do. Aha, uh -huh, good. Gonna Informal. Do uh -huh. so for Valentine's Valentine's Day. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Good. Let's repeat it. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Repeat. What aren't you are gonna, you? Are you? Are you gonna, gonna do, do for Valentine's Day? Do. Gonna do, do. Uh -huh. for, for Valentine's, Valentine's Valentine's Day. Day. That's correct. Thank you. Let's see Alvaro. Alvaro Canales. Yes, sir. Let's read the next one, please. I'm going to go to a dance. Go to a dance. To a dance. Very good. Rodrigo Beltran, the negative. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Very good. Thank you. Karen Xiomara. The question. Where are you going to go? Can you repeat it, please? Where? Where are you going to go? Excellent. That's right. Elsie del Carmen. We're, go we're going to go to Lagunas. Excellent, right. Jonathan Adonai. We're not? We're, we're not going to stay home. Really good. Thank you. Jaime Alfredo. How? How, how are you going to get there? Very good. Carlos Saray. Uh, where are where are going to we're, drive? We're contraction. We're, we're gonna we're going to drive. We're gonna drive. Eliminate two. We're gonna okay. drive. We're gonna drive. That, that's good. Very good job. Nice. Gabriela Abigail. We're 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 not we're not gonna take a bus. Take a bus. Excellent. Carla Elizabeth, the question. Who's? Who's, uh, who's going to be there? Very good job. Thank you. Let's see, Denise. Affirmative. Mm, my sister are going to. My sister? 
This one, this one. My sister are going to be there. It's negative, negative. Ah, perdón. My sister isn't. Is there isn't going to be there. That's good. That is the complete manner or formal. What about the informal? Gonna be there. Repeat it, please. My sister. My sister. Isn't. Isn't. Gonna. 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 gonna to be. There. Gonna. Gonna be there. Ah, uh, perdón. Gonna be there. That's correct. When we use the gonna, then you eliminate too. Because it's the informal manner to speak it. Thank you so much. All right, questions, guys. Questions about this? No question. No? Okay, now we're going to practice the conversation. This one is about have a good Valentine's Day. So let's read it. It's about Mona and Tyler. So Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but... I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. So you have a new vocabulary here? No? Sounds. Missing. Sounds. Suena. Suena, Suena divertido. Uh -huh. Suena mm. divertido. Sounds like fun. Sounds good. Suena bien. Sounds bad. Suena mal. So you use like that? Sounds. Thank you, Miss. You're very welcome. Let's practice it. Let's start. Lázaro, you're going to begin. So, Tyler. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. Thank you. So Tyler, are you gonna do analytic? Anything? Anything? Any, anything. And special? A special for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. That's correct, good one. Elsie del Carmen, continue please. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend about for dinner. Out. For girlfriend dinner. out for dinner. For dinner. Out That's for dinner. Good. Very good job. Thank you. Ana Xiomara, continue, please. Oh, really? Oh, really? 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 Where are you going? 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 Going, going to go. To go? That's good. Let's repeat it. Where are you going to go? Where, Where? Are, are you go? going? Going? Going to go. To go. That's good. Thank you. Let's continue. Oswaldo Hernandez. Lagunas. La, Laguna is her favorite restaurant. That's right. Thank you. Clara Judith. Oh. Oh, she's gonna like that. Excellent. Like She's gonna like that. That's good. Karina Calanes. How? How about you? What are you gonna do? Right. Rebecca Vanessa? Well, I'm not gonna to go to a restaurant. I'm not gonna go, right? Right. Yes. Go to a restaurant. But? But... I am gonna go to the to a dance. Very good job. Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue. Ibis. Let, uh, let's see. Let's continue with Elmer. Sound like fun. Sounds. Well, have, Sounds. Sound like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Very good job. That's nice. Thank you. 
Let's go on with Clara Judith. Thanks. Thanks. You too. You too. That's correct. Good. Okay. Now we have an exercise. We are going to complete here with the big going to. Some of them are questions, others are affirmatives, and others are negatives. So let's fill here in the blanks. We're going to read letter A first. Nevi, can you please read the first? What are you? What are you going to do uh, for Halloween? Thank you. That's good. What will be the possible answer here? We are going to complete in the spaces with the verb that we have in parentheses. Susana del Carmen. I don't know. I... I am... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to do anything special. That's good. Okay. I'm not going to do anything special. Excellent. That's very good. Nice. Let's continue then. Lázaro. I well, have a question, Miss. Yes, go ahead. Tell me. Fíjese que en la plataforma yo tuve dificultades con esa, precisamente esa oración. Ajá. Entonces, eh, ¿podría explicármela, por favor? In this one, and I don't know. Sí. In this one. Okay. In this one, it says, I don't know. I'm not going to do. What happened is that here, maybe it's contraction. A veces no las puede aceptar contactada. O puede ir también completa. ¿De qué manera la, la, la escribió usted? Completa. Mm, okay. So it will be like this. I am going to. And um, what happened is that this one is negative. So you can say, I'm not i'm not going to do you need to include the verb es la negación pero también el verbo you see it's negative but then you include the verb a menos que nos, eh, nos esté pidiendo la forma informal como utilizar gonna gonna ajá like gonna Probably it asks you like that. contractada o completa. Ajá, correct. It can be, I'm not gonna, gonna do. But remember, do. if you include gonna, don't use to. Immediately after gonna is the verb. I'm oh. not gonna do. Ya no va el to. Exactly. Uh -huh. Because it's an informal way. When you use uh -huh. gonna, you eliminate the preposition to. Okay. You eliminate it. I'm not gonna do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So possibly you, it's like that. Possiblemente esté pidiendo como la manera informal. Correcto. Right? Or Correct. maybe it's an apostrophe or punctuation. Lo colocaba completo. Quizás por ahí anda la situación y, uh -huh. y se le puedo tratada. Es posible. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. If Thank not, you. let me know. Si no me hace saber para ver tal vez en, en qué parte okay. puede ser ahí. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so that one was a negative. What about the next one? Well, Pat and I, who will continue? Karina, go ahead. Pat and I. I going. Plural, I'm you need to use the bird to be. Pat uh, and I, so that means it's plural, right? It's like we, not only I, but we. So what is the form of the verb to be here? Is, am, or are? Are. Are, because it's plural. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Are. Pass and I are? Are you going? Are going? Are going? Uh -huh. What else? Mm. Going to? Are going to? Have. have excellent that is the verb correct pat and i are going to have a party can you come elsie del carmen continue please now this one is a question that you need to complete where and the are, subject is you excellent where are you going to 
right. Have. Going to have, perfect. That is the verb, correct. So what are you going to have? The party. Let be a, continue please, eat. Lesbia? Hello? The microphone, please. You need to activate it. Ahora sí. Uh -huh. Now it's ready, yes. <laughs> okay, so it's going to. You need be... the verb B. Remember, uh -huh. you need the verb B. How do you conjugate with it? Is, am, or are? Is. Is, exactly. Remember, it's necessary. Always is necessary to include the verb to be because it's part of the formula. So going it is, be. that's right, going to be because B is my verb, correct. It is going to be at Pat's house. Very good job. That's nice. Now let's continue. Rodrigo Beltran. Rodrigo. This is another question. Sorry, sorry, coach. I have to do a lot of assignment of my of my college. Okay, okay. You can be listening then. Okay, thank you, Lazaro. What time it is? It's a question. Change the position. What time? It is. Is uh -huh. that's good. What time is the party? Go to going to going, going to start. Going uh -huh. to start. Very good. Going to start. What time is the party going to start? Right. Let's continue. Navy, please. Next is and it is okay. It is designed. Uh huh. To do in. To end. To end. To end. Very good. So immediately Very after. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. Immediately after going to the verb. The action. Right? That's good. To end. To end. Nice. To finish, right? At six. And it is going to end around midnight. Very yeah. good. Thank you. Wendy Graciela, continue, please. Now we have a question. Who? And the subject is you. Who, who is no no because the subject is you who are who are, who? Who are you nice uh -huh. who are you going to invite 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 uh-huh that's invite. good who are you going to invite, invite. that's okay. all right very good job nice Let's see the last part. Denise? This is affirmative form. Denise, are you there? No? Karen Xiomara? We are mm -hmm. going to ask Going to ask, excellent. All? All, all good friends. Good friends. Good friends. Good friends, that is all right. Very good, that's nice. Okay, now we're going to read them. Karina Canales, you're going to begin with the first one. A, what? What are you going to do? For? For Halloween? Halloween. Thank you, Elmer. Continue. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to do anything special. Very good job. Nice. Elsie, well. Well, Pat and I are going to have a party. Can you, can you come? Can you come? Very good. Thank you. Susana del Carmen. Sure. Where are you going to have the party? Excellent, nice. Clara Judith. 
It is going to be a pet house. A pet house. A Thank pet you. House. Very good. Rebecca Vanessa, what time? What time is the party going to start? Very good. Let it be a... at at six and it is going to end around mm, esa no sé cómo se dice. midnight 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 very good okay let's continue Oswaldo Hernandez who who are you going to invite invite invite, invite. That is correct. Good. Let's see the last one. Let's include then Wendy. Wendy Graciela. Okay. We are we are going to ask to ask to ask all our good all, friends. All our all our good friends good friends that's correct thank you okay questions about this exercise no question no questions okay let's continue then now in the platform as we know it appears in the exercise 1.11 and we got the instruction. It says, complete the conversation with the correct form of be going to. Follow the example. In the example, you have this. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. So in conversation one, you need to complete here. But with the verb that they give you in parentheses. So number one. Which will be number one? Gabriela, Abigail, I will be the correct form. Who are you going to invite? Mm -hmm. That's right. To... Who are you going to invite to? Thanksgiving dinner. To Thanksgiving dinner. Excellent. Thank you. That's right. Good. So only write these parts. Now the rest is going to be your work in the platform. And question miss? Yes, tell me. En el caso ahí, ya no vamos a colocar are you, ¿verdad? Porque ya lo tiene la oración. Exactly. Uh -huh. This is just for reference, but you can eliminate okay. this because you uh -huh. have it already. Como ya uh -huh. está caso, le agregamos el going to uh -huh. invite. A veces no lo da, ¿verdad? Depende de cómo vaya el sí. ejercicio. En este caso, solo va going to invite. Okay, thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Let's go ahead on the next part. First, we are going to pass the list, guys. It's time to pass it. Let me know if you are present. Let's begin. Álvaro Mauricio. Present. Thank you, Álvaro. Ana Xiomara. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Brenda Rachel. Brenda? No. Camila Alessandra. Present. Thank you, Camila. Carolina Elizabeth. <laughs> Carolina Elizabeth. Clara Judith. Present. Thank you, Clara. Denise Rosalía. Present, Miss. Thank you, Denise. Edgardo Ernesto. Edgardo Ernesto. Elmer Giovanni. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Elsie del Carmen. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present, Miss. Thank you, Gabby. Genesis Abigail. Genesis Abigail. Jaime Alfredo. Present. Thank you so much, Jaime. Jonathan Adonai. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jonathan. Jose Oswaldo. 
I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jose. Karen Silmara. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yamilet. Present, teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Elizabeth. Present, miss. Thank you, Carla. Carla Elizabeth. Carla Sarai. Present, teacher. Thank you, Sarai. Kathy Esther. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Kathy. Lázaro Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Lázaro. Ledvia. Present Let teacher. Be. Thank you, Ledvia. María José. María José. Nevi. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Nevi. Oswaldo Stanley. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Alexis. I'm here. Thank you. Susana del Carmen. Present teacher. Thanks, Susana. Wendy Graciela. Wendy Graciela. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Jedmi Wendy Let. Jedmi. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Let's move then to our next part. So we were with this part. Now let's move to the next part to continue talking about a special occasions. So let's see what is the objective that we have. For this one, it says that by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special locations. And we have some of them, right? Like Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. For that, we have a short video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Father's Day. Graduation. Wedding. Anniversary. Send cards. Give presents. Take pictures. Sing songs. Dance. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a picnic. Eat special food. Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so let's continue talking about some special days and some celebrations that we get. As we mentioned here, these celebrations, but we also have different actions, different activities that we can do. For example, send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food, wear special clothes. So let's see, if you mention here, I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. We're using the be going to, so that is a plan that I have to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear the special clothes for my daughter's graduation. So this will be the last one, wear special clothes. The other one will be take pictures, the one we have here. Now, other examples will be, 
I'm going to dance for my friend's wedding. That's also future that we're expressing. But now let's see another one. I'm going to give presents for the graduation. That's another case. Now you give me other examples. You're going to select one of the celebrations in one action. Can you begin, Carla Elizabeth, please? Um, I going to. I'm, I'm going I'm, to. I'm going to uh -huh. send cars mm -hmm. for my Mother's Day. For for Mother's Day. Yes. Very good job. Nice. So I'm going. You said send cars, right? Yes, send, send cars. cars. For Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. Very good job. Thank you. Father's Day. That's right. Good one. Carla Sarai. Another example. I, um, Select. Hello. 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 Uh, I am I am going. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, sure. I am. I am going. I am going. Um, like, um, I am going to? Tom? Eh, pardon, Dan? I'm sorry, which one you said? I am going to select the action. To dance. To uh -huh. eh, dance. Oh, dance. dance. Okay, thank you. Yes. I am going to dance for? Uh, for me? Um, for me? Mention, no. mention a, a, like a graduation or Father's Day, a, a specific celebration, a special day. For me. For eh. my, my graduation, my wedding, my anniversary. Um, um, Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. All right. For Mother's Day. All right. That's the plan that you have. I am going to dance for Mother's Day. That's good. Okay. Let's see. Gabriel Abigail. Select a different, different celebration, please. I am going to have a picnic. Ah, okay. For my anniversary. Excellent. That's nice. For my anniversary. Oh, it's in capital letters. Let's change it. For my anniversary. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue then. Alvaro Canales, are you present? Yes. All right. Um, Select a different one, please. Puedo usar en... Oui. You can just... I'm sorry? We oui. oui are? Sure, yes. Uh -huh. You can use other persons, other subjects. We oui. We are... We are... Gonna. That's good. Uh -huh. We're gonna. Can be informal. We're gonna and eat a special food. Nice. A special food for In the anniversary. For our anniversary. Yeah. It could be for like, if you make it possessive, right? Nuestro aniversario. It can be for our anniversary. For anniversary. That's all right. Good one. Thank you. Elmer, give us another example, please. You can use different subjects. She's going to. I, they are going to. I'm going to eat uh -huh. cake for my wedding. Ah, that's good. Okay. I'm going to eat cake. For my wedding. Very good. That's nice. Let's continue then. Let's go ahead. Yes. Sorry? Uh, for my wedding anniversary. Podría ser? Ah, sure. Yes. That's more specific. Uh -huh. It's even more specific. My wedding anniversary. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, that's correct. Good one. Then, Nevi, give us another example, please. 
you can select a different one. Graduation, wedding, Father's Day, Mother's Day. Uh, we're going to... We're going to? Yes. We, right? Okay. We're going to... Take pictures. Take pictures. For, for, for Father's Day. Ah, that's good. For Father's Day. For Father's Day. That is very good, guys. Nice. Okay. Questions about this? No, miss. No questions? No question. Okay. Let's read them. Lazaro, can you please start reading the first one? I'm going to... Lázaro, are you present? No? Denise? Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, I'm going to... A... A to dance, K... dance, dance. Let's read it. Read this one, the examples. I'm going to dance. I'm going to dance for my friend. My the... friends, my friends. My friend, friends, my friend, friends wedding. with S, friends, wedding, friends, wedding, wedding. That's correct. Good one. Oswaldo Morales. I'm going to give presents for the graduation. Very good job. Nice one. Thank you. Karina Canales. The next one, please. I'm going to send cards for Mother's Day. Very good job. Nice one. Kathy is there? I'm going to dance for Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Very good. Ana Ciabara? I am. I'm going. I am mm -hmm. going. I am going. I am going to wait. A have, pin to have a, to have have a pin it for my uni, uni, anniversary. anniversary 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 that's right good one thank you let's continue then Clara Judith we're gonna we're gonna eat special food for all anniversary anniversary that's all right thank you let's continue camila i'm going to i'm going to a eat cake eat eat cake for my wedding 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 Right, good one. Thank you. Let's see Elsie. Elsie del Carmen. We're going to take pictures for Father's Day. That's all right. Good one. Okay. Let's move to another thing. This one Yo is tengo, about. Tell me. Tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Teacher. Yes. Tengo una pregunta. Yes. Eh, si usamos tercera persona, el verbo lleva S, o si es con going to, no lleva S. No, no es. Where is going to have the S is only with the simple present. Uh, only, okay. Only. It's like, a, for example, in the case of these actions, if you say, she sends cards, he gives presents, mm -hmm. she takes, but it's in simple present. In this mm -hmm. case, no, because it's the simple future. So in the future, you need to use the base form of the verb or the original form of the verb. What you are going to modify is the verb to be, right? Because oh. you need to conjugate depending on the subject. If, if I am, you are, he, or she, or it is, yes. we are, okay. they are. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Yeah. You're welcome. So here... We will learn about some special birthdays that they are around the world. We know that it depending on the country and the culture, they celebrate in a different manner. 
So for that, remember that we watched the video at the beginning. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh, correct. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let me see if you remember about this to check the ability of the listening. Let's see if the memory. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. Is that true or false? Oh, true. It's true, right? Yeah, remember that in the video mentioned that. So let's check here. Now we are going to read them. It says, what are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, she's from Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They are going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. <laughs> Imagine. Do you have new vocabulary here? Custom. Custom is a tradition that you have. For example, here in El Salvador, we have different customs, costumbre, that depending on the culture that we have. Now we have also a phrase, pull, pull on the ear, pull on my ear is this action. It's like what the girl is doing with this man, it pulls, pulls the ear. La oreja. That's pull on the ear. So the tradition in this place is that they pull on the ear depending on the age that you are going to be. <laughs> so how old is Elena going to be? How old is she going to be? ¿Qué edad va a tener Elena? How old is Elena going to be? In the reading says, my 21st birthday. 21 years old. Exactly. That is correct. Just that here you have it in ordinal numbers. El vigésimo primero is in order, right? This one is in ordinal numbers, but it's 21 years old. That's all right. Good. Let's see then about this one. Jan Chinchi from Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday it's a special birthday so we're going to have a family ceremony i'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives my mother is going to cook noodles noodles are for a long life new vocabulary e envelopes envelope envelope is this this object Yes, you see this picture? That you put money there. Okay. You put money, a letter, cards. Regalo de sobre. Eh, only envelope? Envelope means sobre. Solo envelope means sobre. I'm sorry? What about relatives? Relatives are members of the family. Familiares, en general. Okay. Miembros de la familia, right? So those are members of the family. So envelope is this, sobre, en el que puede ir cualquier cosa, una carta, right? You have a letter, uh, you have a card, money. And like it mentioned here, I'm probably going to get some money So in those envelopes, right? And noodles. Noodles, this night like a very common food in Asia. What is the typical food in Asia? Like when you go and buy Chinese food and panda. Fideos. Fideos, correct. Those are noodles. The ones coming Maruchan also. <laughs> All of those are noodles. Okay, we have other readings. These ones are about Mr. and Mrs. Aoki from Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow in Japan. The 60th birthday is called Kanreki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. 
So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. New vocabulary. Vest. Vest. Vest means chaleco. That's a vest. Hat. Hat, the one you put on your head. Let me show you literally what's a hat. Right here we had it. It's this one. The hat is this one. The one the boy has on the head. That are for different occasions, right? For a birthday, sometimes for parties. Also, people can wear hats. Now let's check about Philip Jolly from Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. That is true. For example, here in El Salvador, when it's our birthday, our friends or relatives, they invite us. They cut a cake for us. They invite yes. us to go to restaurants. Yes? Yes, that's right. And that is right, right? So, but in this case, in Paris, it's the opposite. El invita. They invite. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like in Indonesia. Have you heard about Indonesia? It's like in Indonesia and Indonesia. Also, they have that tradition that they, when they have their birthday, they give presents to the other person. So it's the opposites that they have. It depends on the culture, right, that we may have. Questions about it? New vocabulary? They opposite. I'm sorry? They opposite. Ah, the opposite. opposite. The opposite. The opposite. Lo opuesto. Lo contrario. I know it's the opposite. It's like we mentioned here, right? In El Salvador, is the opposite because we receive presents when we celebrate our birthday. But in the case of Paris, Philip Jolly, how he's going to celebrate it? He is not going to receive presents. He is going to give presents or invite people out to eat something. Oswaldo Morales, do you have a, a question? No, just a commentary. I'm not going to celebrate my birthday in France. Why? Why you're not going to celebrate it there? Because I have to pay. <laughs> That's a good reason. I thought that you maybe say, okay, I'm going to go to France, but you are not going to celebrate it. <laughs> but that's a good point, right? When your like celebrate is coming soon, it's better not to go to, to France. <laughs> better not to go to Paris. <laughs> Imagine that you have to pay. You're supposed to receive presents. To be happy, but you have to prefer to save money <laughs> for other people. Not fair, right? That's justo. It's not fair at all. <laughs> Any other question, guys, or comments? Not questions at all. Tenemos que ir avanzando en la plataforma uh, hasta la sección 2, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Until 2, correct. Try to advance. Traten de avanzar hasta donde ustedes yeah. puedan, puedan llegar. Okay. So remember, don't get delayed. Traten de no atrasarse, porque como atras, eh, en Safor pide eso, ¿verdad? Que traten de avanzar lo más que ustedes puedan. Si pueden avanzar a terminar la 2, perfecto. Si no se atrasan a la siguiente, porque después son bastantes ejercicios. All right, guys, we'll continue tomorrow then with this. Imagine tomorrow is Thursday. Can't believe it. The time flies a lot. We'll go on tomorrow then, guys. It see was tomorrow. a pleasure to see, see you tomorrow. again. Thank you. Class, see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Have a good and rest. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Same to you. Bye-bye. Goodbye.
Good night, teacher. Have a good night.